<laughs> and this is our uh, this is our tiki tiki boom boom. This is very good. I had that yeah, one earlier. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh so, my yeah. goodness. Tiki tiki boomies. Wait wait wait. <laughs> are we? We're not sharing this, are we? No, I, I can get it. No, no, I just put it I'm in good. there for. I'm good. All righty. Well, I yeah. want this. She one. doesn't share well. I don't share oh. well at all. Yeah. Yeah. That's and okay. with that in Recommended, mind. Recommended, some say. You know, <laughs> not always. <laughs> I don't share well at all, and you all know this about me. Welcome aboard the Funny Boat Podcast. <laughs> I am your host, Captain Boomies. With me, the furry, the fabulous, the Hemingwayed out, apparently. Yes. Uh, the broker oh. with the beard. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Cap? I'm uh, doing... Very fantastic today. I did go with the Hemingway sweaters, rainy and dreary out, but in here, <laughs> it's freaking amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm so excited because Ed has brought me to the most magical bar that I have been to, I think, in my entire life. And that includes some insane Disneyfication mm. that's going on here. I'm I'm probably not even allowed to say that really because it's it's better than Disney. Yeah. It's Everything I've always wanted in a pirate ship bar with tiki cocktails. I'm telling you, I literally have this land, this sea mine. It's a sea <laughs> mine. What am I talking about, landmine? It's a sea mine. Mm -hmm. And it's delicious. And I'm so, so very thrilled to be here with the bar's owner. Welcome aboard. Thank How you. are you doing? Good. Great. Yeah, I'm happy to have you guys. This is awesome. Yeah, so um, um, we should we should say where we actually are. Though. Yeah, so we are at the Dive Club. We're here in Cambridge, and with us is Doug Ramey. I met Doug oh what, three three or four weeks ago. Yeah, just happened to take. be in here, and sure. it was the best three hours of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so many things. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, this is just amazing. It's like I I keep telling everybody. Uh, even somebody just weekend stopped in and said I sent them. Um, it's like. The Jungle Cruise meets the Haunted Mansion meets yeah. a real tiki bar. It's everything all in, in one. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that, it's so awesome. I, and I, uh, I'm so glad that you guys came down. Yeah. Um, this is definitely something special. And to the community that listens to the podcast, to the tiki goers, to the restaurant scene, you name it, you know, this is where it's at. So yeah. uh, I'm so glad that we're getting together to do this. So who is the nut job that never grew up and wanted to have a pirate ship bar? You know, I would say it would be a collective okay. of us. Um, the owners of RER Brewing, um, essentially, this is the, the side project, the the sister restaurant, some people say, um, that we had so many really talented people um, with, within our company that we wanted to do a kind of a different project and just let that flourish. And um, Disney is not a bad way to go off of because right. that's now an adjective to Disneyfy something because it's so immersive and it's so awesome to bring people in and take care of them and that's kind of like what we did with this you know it's like our home yeah. it's like we're bringing people in to have food and drinks and an awesome time on top of all of that what did the planning look like so is is anybody in this crew a, a sailor is anybody... um i would say i mean it's the the, the location is very nautical mm -hmm. um uh, cambridge dorchester county has a lot of waterfront properties a lot of boats very much like the um, annapolis location um all of that jazz. Um, and I would say that, you know, like bringing people in, everyone comes from that scene already, Grew up, growing up on the water or always yeah. being around the area. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of like the group effort. And it was the team, um, the executive team of RER, you know, has done a fantastic job with just rolling with the ideas to open something like this. And, and relatively soon, we started in March with a clean slate and came in and Wow. You know, just got the ship rocking right off the jump um, with all the ideas that we had. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And was, what kind of brainstorming session was this? Did you watch every Pirates of the Caribbean first and then go for it? I would or? say we did our research. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would say that there was a lot of pieces from every single of that, like, the, the same realm, the Goonies. Right. Oh, yes. Uh, we have a Toodles bag up on the <gasps> Lost and Found. Um, we, are do we have Wilson. The, uh, the the volleyball, volleyball. yeah we have like there, there and there's so many little Easter eggs and a, a big part of the growing process and you know opening this location was every single one percent of the operation is cared about yeah um, and you know like we all were inspired by so many of those cool things in those movies and so every time you come back 
our mission was you're going to see something different. You're going to have yeah. a different time, you know. So that was kind of how we went with that. Yeah, that's what I loved is like you know if if you go the Disney route, there's the hidden Mickey's. I guess here, here yeah. you would have the hidden Bernards. Yeah, the all hidden over. Captain you know, Bernard. there's ooh, yeah, there's storylines yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and exactly. It's amazing. I mean, I just I want to do the Wikipedia page. Yeah. This needs to be a, <laughs> a a group effort for sure. For those of you that are only listening to the audio version of this podcast, I'm going to explain it to you in the best way that I possibly can. We are sitting in the tiki-iest, but overhead is all wood and dark, and but in every corner there's some kind of nautical fun. When you first open the door, it's a big kraken uh, stained glass, and and there's the the USS Nectar. What what am I looking that's at? That's what we're aboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. the USS Nectar. That's the boat name. Yeah. That's fantastic. There's ships and bottles. There's blinky lights. There's, um, oh my God, the ceiling. It looks like you're underwater. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, very, very immersive. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, <laughs> quite literally, yeah. <laughs> and I, I can even tell you guys a little bit of the storyline as well, you know. Um, yes, please. Yes, of course. So uh, essentially what we're aboard right now when you walk in through the front door or aboard, or, uh, Walking the plank in um, <laughs> is the USS Nectar, which is the boat that Captain Bernard, Bernard Jenkins, that is, um, mm. had been searching for the Chessie Monster for so long on, um, even internationally. And this all throughout our travels, we have a, a dining room in the back that is called the Captain's Quarters. Essentially, that's like memory lane of a lot of the Captain's travels through, I mean, all ends of the, uh, of the world and all of that evidence and, uh, you know, just research has brought us into Cambridge where Chessie, the sea monster, is somewhere in the Chesapeake Bay. And essentially that's kind of uh, uh -huh. Hang on where a the second. concept is I'm now. not from Maryland. Mm. I'm new to the Chesapeake <clears throat> Bay. So now I need to, I hate when I have to do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ed, can you explain to me what we're talking about? Sure. So Chessie uh -huh. is uh, like the Chesapeake version of Nessie. The Loch Ness, Ness monster. Okay, okay. Some people say the stepsister. Some people yeah. say the cousin. Yeah, there's yeah. somehow there's lineage. There's, really... there's lineage she, to be drawn. I'm pretty sure she has a different accent, but mm -hmm. just slightly. <laughs> yeah, it's the Eastern Shore accent. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know, hon? Hey, hon, I'm I'm a um, Chessie. Yeah. I'm a Chessie trying monster. Trying to find me for years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hon, wow. you want crayons? No problem. Yeah. <laughs> You all are too good at that. It's <laughs> really atrocious. Mm. Uh, okay, okay. So now there's... All right, now I'm getting the through line. Captain's hunting Chessie. Bingo. The the monster of the Chesapeake. Mm -hmm. What kind of stories are there about this monster? Like, what are we... Or is it just a cutesy thing, like... I, 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 I want to say it's a cutesy thing. You know, there's a lot of stuff you see when you're out there, out there in the open water. Mm. <laughs> where the mysterious you know, open you, water. It's twilight or the nine feet right before dawn. Chesapeake Bay. Yeah, that, you, you see <laughs> things, you know, a crab mean, buoy all okay. of a sudden yeah. it becomes mm -hmm. something else. So when they else, open or, up the Conowingo Dam. Uh, well, of course, and now when they Jesse's do that, then you got all, all the yeah. stuff out there, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's everything you got to look out for. So it was okay. uh, the first sighting of Chessie, and I've also I'm a very well versed person in the in the, the storyline of in course the chess -verse. in the Chessiverse, yeah. <laughs> um, and the first sighting of Chessie was uh, July seventeenth of nineteen thirty two, uh -huh. which is July seventeenth is the birthday Ooh. of Captain Bernard, oh, and he was thirty five years old when he first saw Chessie. Oh. So that's where this all began. Gotcha. I mean, some people say he's a time traveler, but I think they got hit in the head with a cup of coconuts here yeah. and there. You know, it's all blurry. So, yeah, yeah. There's so many stories that go into the, the whole concept. Well, I mean, it's, uh, okay, it's awesome. so I'm I'm really, I, I want to just pick a thing here and ask you about it because yeah, of course. I go feel like it. that's going to help me get people into this. So I'm looking at what looks like a very pregnant mermaid mm -hmm. above us, mm. and she is lovely. She's just bloated. She's had a lot of the food. She's here. just eaten a lot. <laughs> I need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she's fascinating, and she's pulling on this line, yeah. and I'm not, I, I don't really know where that line's going. I know. Yeah. I'm slightly worried there's a 
trap here that I'm going to get. I don't really want to ruin it for you. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's so, a couple of maidens ar around the ship that uh, definitely have the names. We have uh, Clarabelle in the back room. That's the captain's daughter. Oh. Um, Mary Celeste is one of our cocktails. And also, uh, oh. there's a great story about Mary Celeste. For those who don't know, if you guys want to do your research, definitely Google Mary Celeste. There's a great story behind that. Cool. Um, and we have her on the, uh, the front side of the boat there. Uh, you'll see that when you first walk in. And then, I don't know, we don't really have a name for her yet. Uh, I haven't come up with one. Yeah, we could definitely, fine. let us know in the comments what you guys think oh, her yeah. name should be. Name the mermaid. Name Bloody. the mermaid. Let's play a little game. <laughs> yeah. She, her name's Bloaty. She's Bloaty. Fully, <laughs> she's fully laden, it looks she's like. She's fully laden. Uh, no, she's fascinating. I love yeah. that. There's, uh, it, are you, and so do you do any boating yourself? This is such a boating town. I mean, I've come here by boat more than I've ever come here by car mm, this was sure. the first time for me yeah um what it, like how yeah, far no, are we I from would, the water yeah oh uh, it's like hop skip and a jump yeah, I would three say. blocks yeah, yeah. yeah. there's three actually blocks. uh if you go this way which uh, that doesn't mean anything to you, the <laughs> audio <laughs> listeners um south of us uh there's actually a ramp that goes yeah. all the way down to like the what the um outsides of the uh, chop tank river yeah you know so there's a there's a it's really really close we get a lot of people in the summertime that come by boat and just awesome. kind of walk in. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of the. How, yeah. what are people's reactions like? Because I know what mine was. It oh. was ridiculous. I basically walked in here and went, <gasps> yeah. oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to be here. I knew how I live here. Yeah. yeah. Right, <laughs> like, right. That's, so that's, that's exactly That's exactly. I mean, that's, and it's all linear. Everybody feels Deja the same. Deja vu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot. I, I catch a lot of people just staring off. Yeah. And I think that's so cool. You know, like uh, the atmosphere is, is uh, like 80% of the battle here. Uh, is it is it hard to get in here when on the weekends, let's say? Um, I would. Well, so I will say our restaurant is a little bit small on the smaller side compared to, comparatively to other places. Mm -hmm. uh, we only have 10 tables, um, but we have a really good organization for that. Um, we do all of our rev reservations on open table. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really easy. It's really interactive for you to just go in, know where you're sitting, your time frame. I mean, it's all very, very easy. Um, and we get people that are here for like an hour, anywhere from two hours, sometimes three hours and just hanging out. We actually just started brunch as well. So that's a whole nother aspect Ooh. of the dining experience that we're doing. Yeah. Brunch. brunch. Yeah. Nice. And what sailor doesn't like brunch? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I the Annapolis sailors are all about the brunch. Oh, yeah. So, yes. so very much so about um, the brunch. Ladies, uh, just so you all know what we're doing next week. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Endless mimosas. Hey, oh, oh, oh. oh <laughs> man. Hey, but, oh. Okay, mimosa is a boring cocktail. Sure, sure. What you've got in front of me is something I was totally not expecting. I, but man, am I a sucker for fun glassware. Mm -hmm. And then you're talking about, I heard you talking about these cocktails and you were describing them in a way that was very arty farty, for mm -hmm. lack of Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I would say that a big part of the menu building process um, was doing the research because I'd always had um, a little bit of a background in cocktails and the mm. cocktail making side of it with liqueurs and uh, spirits in general. Um, but I was but the concept of tiki was so foreign to me. Right. I haven't had a lot of like experience with traditional. There's like this whole world of uh, like tiki classic cocktails. And so it was just kind of. Um, Splitting those up, let's do, I'll tell you what, let's do uh, all of the Tiki classics that so many people are so used to by name. Um, so your Mai Tai, we do a diver's Mai Tai, the Bushwhacker Ooh. from the islands all also, the way Also to, very good. Yeah, the, yeah. the Jungle Bird to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like there's so, there's so many, three dots and a dash. Um, <laughs> there's so many little, and so essentially our specialty menu, what we wanted to do specifically was a lot of twists on those, like modern twists with new age you know, ways of clarifying spirits and um, doing like juice combinations, um, doing stuff with allspice and just all of these cool aspects yeah. to it. So that was a big part of that. You um, would have had to do tons of research. I mean, even just oh, yeah. three dots and a dash. I'm sitting here panicking. I'm like, I know what three dots is. I don't know what a right, dash, dash is. Thing, yeah. Like, oh man, like mm. Morse code? What? <laughs> Who knows Morse code anymore? Right, yeah. You probably do, yeah, you yeah, weirdo. Yeah, God, you're so I, gross. That's okay. I hate you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Still use it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Ed, stop being salty. Wrote my resume me. in it. Yeah. <laughs> so irritating. Um, but yeah, no, it was a lot of, I will say it was a lot of fun. It was very, uh, it was very organic. You know, it was just kind of like fun ideas thrown in the air and we catch them, you know. 
Um, I was very much like an artist that listens to his own music in the sense because I hadn't been to so many of these right. like cool other tiki bars. But um, it's definitely on my list now. Ooh. Just seeing it, you know. Well, some of the so. some of the fun things that I experienced just as a patron a few weeks ago was, you know, the, of course the atmosphere. But it's more than just what you see as the atmosphere. It's the bartender's interaction with you. It's the it's the customer interaction as well. I mean, there's like. I a, mean, he's wearing a captain's. Hat I mean, there's right a whole there's it's a whole yeah. siren yeah. With it on. that you get to crank <laughs> on. Um, what? Yeah. Oh yeah. What? Yeah, uh, yeah. And and even the music choices. So it's very kitschy. Uh, there was Star Wars themed tiki music going That's right. on. Yeah. Uh, it, and then you could, of course, you saw all of the you know the Gen Xers were kind of like, oh, wait what? a minute, I, I what is this? I uh, I recognize this, this guy? but this doesn't <laughs> go together. Wait, 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 what is yeah, that? Yeah. Little Jeff Goldblum kicking in. That's right. Like, oh, yeah. wow. I don't know. I, Oh. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yeah, very, yeah. Very much I so. think that it was like I said, it was organic. You know, a lot of us <clears throat> were just kind of sitting in a circle and like spitballing ideas. And I think that a big part of it was, you know, like it was fun. You know, it, and when you make it fun, it's like you can it do it forever. It does feel like yeah. it does feel like everybody said, "Oh, you've got to have this," and it's like everybody in that circle said it, and you all kept it. Mm -hmm. Like, like it everything. There's so oh, many yeah. different things. Even down to the, uh, even down to like the employee stories, you right. know, like people that work here have their stories on how they joined the ship. And like one of my favorites, I'll, I'll bring him up because he's a good friend of mine also. Um, we say that Scotty, you know, our, one of our bartenders, he got lifted on a, on a raft and he was out, you know, at sea for probably about two weeks and he was sunburnt, he was naked, he was afraid. He was, yeah. you know, and then he kind of aborted the ship right. uh, with desperation. And we brought him on. We taught him everything he needed to know. We got him some aloe for the sunburn, right. you know, where the sun don't shine. Right. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, and so then people, you know, I'll tell people that story and uh, they'll look at Scotty and go, well, wh wh where'd you find him? And he goes, oh, oh we found him on Indeed. <laughs> you know, so it's like, you know, cause it can be gimmicky, but it also is like very modern and it's very like funny and. And so, yeah, that was a big, that was, it's always like, you know, when people come in, we just yeah. gotta give everybody the same, you know, all the same attention and story. So, yeah, that's, I, yeah, it was so there cool. was definitely that going on. And then, like, we made best friends with the people sitting next to us who Aww. are locals and they come down and, um, you know, it was, it was a fantastic afternoon. And, and really, it was an afternoon. It wasn't like you don't, I can't imagine you just pop in here and have a beer and leave. Like, that's like, that. Well, you know, I think and that's like the the whole dive club concept was it, you know, this dive bar like phrase, right. you know, has been so over like, I don't know, it's like it's just overreacted a little bit. People like it doesn't have to be, you know, like you walked in, you get a beer and then you leave and that's right. a dive bar, you know, like, no, it's like you're here for a set amount of time and then you go and you're like, I got to tell everybody about this. So I think that was a big, a big part, a big proponent of. The dive bar, like in the dive bar, the dive club. Yeah. You know, it's like a twist on dive. And so that's why we just like took that and ran with it or swam with it, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Can't I, help yourself. Right. Yes. Well, okay. I was, I was kind of ignoring you both for a minute there because I just had a yeah. bite of whatever little fabulous yeah. fritter that delicious. was. Delicious. Conk fritter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. That was so good. It's just got right amount of spiciness yeah, yeah. going we, this, on. This actually, this recipe was uh, redone probably about seven times before we like were like oh yeah this is the one yeah amazing um, yeah. completely amazing so it was like you know we just everything that's everything that we took we had to take you know full broth yeah because yeah. i think i think what people are missing is yes you're calling it a dive the dive club right, right? Mm -hmm. yeah because i would not call this a dive mm. bar mm -mm. No. i think dive bar i think PBR in a can right, and there's right. just disgusting dirt on the they floor. They got bowling alleys in the back. Of Bras sure. on the ceiling. Yeah, yeah exactly. Place. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we um, were like, let's just forget about that whole thing. No, this is yeah. a this is such a different experience. And while I do see that you've added some fake cobwebs in places. <laughs> You know how much we had to pay that spider? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Charlotte is expensive. Yeah, yeah. She had to take a vacation after all this. Yeah. So yeah, it is it is, it is wonderful. immaculate and gorgeous and the woodwork looks like it took somebody a long yeah. time. A lot of domestic wood, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of driftwood man. too, though. Yeah. To be fair. 
Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm looking around now. I'm seeing some stuff. <laughs> I'm also seeing a very smiling, lovely lady down there. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yes. Of hi. Hello. Yes. What a fabulous place. And thank you so much for letting us sneak in here. Absolutely. So I'm so glad that we could bring you guys in. Yeah. This is really cool. Ed. Yes. How did you hear about this place? I, I so think you said it, but. My cousin uh, was here right after they opened, I think, mm-hmm. somewhere be- around the Thanksgiving-ish time. What yep. did that look like in this town? That must have been Only just opening here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what did that look like? Did the whole town go like, oh, what's happening here? Yeah, yeah. Or... I think that was a big, a big thing was like, there's so much going on exterior to the restaurant. There's a lot of wonder. People are mm-hmm. like, what's going on in there? Um, so then it was just a matter of pulling the door and just... Just being in awe. You know? So Cambridge yeah. is lo- it, the town that this bar is located in is located on the Chesapeake Bay off of one of the rivers that feeds the Chesapeake Bay. And I wouldn't call it a big town, but it is the place where it's known for Harriet Tubman's hometown. Um, it's known for it being a fabulous port down here mm-hmm. in uh, on the eastern shore of Maryland. Oh, it's yeah, definitely Maryland known blue, for yeah. some blue crabs. Mm-hmm. Good seafood. But I I guess I wasn't expecting, I would expect this to be in a much bigger city. I mm-hmm. would expect something like this to exist somewhere that had, I don't know, more humans per capita. Sure, for yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Definitely um, known as a, being a seasonal location. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, but, we, uh, but we definitely get a lot of, tourism is, is a word I wouldn't use, but it's a good one for right now. Okay. Um, I think people come in and they, they know Cambridge and there's a lot to view and mm. see. And um, also Hyatt being right there, a large location mm-hmm. for rooms for people to come in. Yeah. Um, nice I, think that, I think it's just, Cambridge is definitely growing. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, and the, the variety and the, the choice is, is definitely something a lot of people are seeing now. So does the Chamber of Commerce try to hit you guys up all the time and be like, yo, you guys, uh, what are you guys you doing in there? Yeah, like, hey. yeah. yeah, I think it, it's the, I will say the community in Cambridge is everyone works together. Mm-hmm. Everyone has the same mission. We want it to be this like growing, especially post-COVID, which is a word you could use if you wanted right. to talk about a, a mark. <laughs> A mark in time. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's definitely something that uh, everyone that's here works together. Yeah. You know, there's no competition. There's no animosity. There's no, like, everybody here is for the same thing. So Chamber of Commerce, the restaurant owners, everyone. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, because well, the more people that come in, the better for everyone. Absolutely. Have you ever sold so, any boats around here, Ed? I have. Oh. Oh. Mm. Well. I'm looking to what sell kind? more. No, oh, yes. Sailboats, of course. Well, hopefully, we can help you do, you know, work with that. I was going to yeah. say, wait, how, in and, yeah. you know. how deep is the job tank? I don't actually. <laughs> yeah. She's got a decent amount of water over there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there are parts that are like nine feet deep, though. You know, it's like not yeah. very. Oh, yeah. It's no. pretty shallow in some some spots. No, no, it's just big enough. She's yeah. thinking. Right. <laughs> mm. Well, I, I, I realize I've only I've only been here by powerboat. Yeah. I've never been here by sailboat I've before. I've never been here by boat. Ha! Huh. I am astonished. I know, right? It seems very unlike you. Not here. I'm feeling But Singapore here. many times. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. it's I'm still having a hard time even expressing myself because I'm so overwhelmed by new things that I keep seeing. Do yeah. you have a favorite thing in Ooh, here you know that's a great question i've never actually considered i think it changes okay it's kind of like a favorite song like that you have of right. the same artist you know like i don't want to pick one mm-hmm. um but if i had to pick one i would I definitely choose the ship bell we have Ooh. um anytime a grog is ordered or <laughs> you know we get a nice tip um, oh, yeah. anytime, like, you know, we get some new, uh, pirates or sailors that are aboard, we yep. ring the bell. Yeah. Yeah. Cheeky joke, peak cheeky, you know, funny pirate jokes. We do those too. That's just like the audio cue. And it's, uh, and I definitely, uh, Hey Manny, maybe you could, uh, give us a ring real quick. You want to give us a, Oh yeah. Hit me. A ringy dingy. One ring. There we go. There we go. Look, check that out. Oh, yeah. man. I'm so, so- that's probably my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I'm divorcing my husband and I'm marrying this bar. <laughs> this place is fantastic. Yes. I I highly recommend that you figure out how to get yourself down to 
uh oh my cambridge i yeah. was panicking i'm like wait the chop tank no that's weird <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like, it depends right so there. doug how how can they what are the hours how can they get a hold yes, of you that's a great question so our business hours as of right now we're going to be opening for springtime hours uh but as of right now we're doing wednesdays and thursdays and fridays uh from three to ten or to volume of course and on Saturday, we open a little bit earlier. We open at 12 o'clock, and we'll go through food service, dinner service, all the way up until that same mark. And then, like I said, we have brunch on Sunday. So we're just closed Tuesdays and uh, Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay. Wow. Yeah. But uh, like I said, springtime hours open up really quickly yeah. in the location. So just stay tuned. Stay posted to our Facebook, Instagram, all of that jazz. And just and we're look, just we're very updating on that. And just look website up as well. The dive club on all of the yeah. Platforms. Look up the dive club on Open Table. You can do it online. We all we'll pop right up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Easy Bring your salty stories and yes, uh, and an empty hold because. Yeah, and also, let us know where you uh, where you're coming from. Yeah. And uh, if you're listening to the pod, you know, like let yeah, us know. Yeah, Check the episode out. Oh, tell yeah. them the Funny Boo podcast. That's right. Yeah, you. definitely. If you guys, for everyone that has maybe they're popping in as a a dive club fan to the Funny Boat Pod, you guys have to check out the rest of their content. This is incredible. Oh. You guys need to watch this oh, all yeah, the yeah. time. Oh. Yes. Yeah, stay, please stay tuned yes, to this. We're this fun. is awesome. We're yeah. ridiculous and we're, fun and um, normally much drunker than this when we we're podcasting, I'll be we're honest with you. A tightly run shipwreck. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfection. Yes. Uh, thank you again so much for having us. This has been the Funny Boat Podcast. Bon voyage. Good to see you guys. Ooh, I cheers. need like two more of these. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs>